represent representatives from several ministries and international organizations, representatives from the European Commission, their participants, members of the Yankees Consortium, partners of the project, and friends of our institutions, dear colleagues, I would like to thank you very much for attending our event. I would like also to thank Professor Didier Vivier for hosting us today at the Royal Belgian Academy and giving us the opportunity to introduce our project and discuss together the challenges we face regarding the protection of cultural heritage. Our project is funded by the European Commission in the framework of Horizon Europe and without its strong support and involvement in the issue of the protection of cultural heritage, nothing would have been possible. So thank you, Rodrigo, our project officer, and Christina for having introduced the actions brought by the European Commission, which allows us to be here today. And thanks as well to the representatives from the European Commission attending today who help us bring us together. The Yankees project. Yeah. The Yankees project is coordinated by the Ecole Française d'Athènes, a French public research center, whom I have the honor to be the director. As a, re as a research center of, of almost two centuries of field research in archaeology, human and social sciences in Greece, the Balkans, and the Eastern Mediterranean, the French school in Athens has a strong involvement in the field of cultural heritage protection. And I'm happy to welcome today the representatives of the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research and to thank them for their active support to our institution. It's also a pleasure to welcome in this forum from some of our colleagues from the Hellenic Minister with whom we are working every day to build together a better future for the cultural heritage and the history of the human past. If you are joining us for the first time today, just a few words about the project. ONKIS stands for Applying New Solutions for Cultural Heritage Protection by Innovative, Scientific, Social and Economic Engagement. It is a Horizon Europe research project whose goal is to create new solutions for the fight against the looting and trafficking of cultural goods in Europe. However, while technical, the name Ankiz is also a symbol. Ankiz, as you may know, is the father carried on the back of his son, Enas, out of the crumbling city of Troia during war and destruction in the mythology. This name recalls the duty we have to protect our heritage nowadays in an increasingly troubled world. Ankiz started in early 2023 for three years following several previous projects the european action plan and the network netshare that we created before and that many of you may know already it paved the way for the present development keys aims to develop a comprehensive and replicable response to the challenges of effective protection of cultural heritage in europe through the development of technological solutions, through the reinforcement of a multidisciplinary network of practitioners, and through in-depth studies of the situation. The fight against the looting and trafficking of the cultural heritage is a cause we are all committed to, especially as researchers and professionals affected by it. And because cultural heritage is a common good which builds a strong basis for democracies and international relationship. But like water in climate change issues, cultural heritage is also a non-renewable resource that is overdue for protection in our societies. So the consortium of the project has 14 partners from all over Europe who share this concern. It is coordinated by the Ecole Française d'Athènes, and as you see on this slide, our consortium aims to represent all communities involved in the fight. This is precisely why the consortium is composed of research institutions specialized in archaeology, art history, human and social sciences, such as the Ecole Française d'Athènes, the University Lumière Lyon II, 
the European University Institute in Florence and the University of Poitiers. Beside them stand six research centers and organizations for the development of technical innovative solutions to fight the looting and illicit trafficking of cultural heritage, the Cyprus Institute, Fraunhofer in Germany, the lab ICCS from the Technical University of Athens, INNOV from Portugal, Econem and Parks from France. We are also joined by practitioners from law enforcement agencies as the ENSP, the French National Police School, and uh, museums with the International Council of Museums, the ECOM. The rich task of engaging with the communities and disseminating our actions is supported by the Michael Culture Association and the Cyprus University of Technology. But we're also building on a rich network or users board assisted by our ethics board to nurture a multidisciplinary and European approach based on the continuous involvement of professionals and specialists who otherwise do not always have the opportunity to work together. I mean, archaeologists and art historians, researchers in geopolitics and sociology, professional in the field of new technologies and AI, professional from the art market, police and justice representatives, communication and dissemination specialists. We're also working in strong connection with other European projects, as it has been already mentioned. Among several of them, we owe a specific mention to our colleagues from the Aurora and Enigma projects, who are present in this forum, I think, and working in the same cluster as we do on the creation of new tools for the protection of cultural heritage. The issue of the fight against illicit trafficking and looting in cultural heritage is complex, multi-layered, and easily confusing. Possible solutions have no magic, even with new technologies. And they rely on existing knowledge and very often on acceptable compromise. Several issues have already been addressed in the current development of the project lies like the socio-historical context of the looting and trafficking in cultural heritage, which was the topic of our last conference in Poitiers last November. Because first and foremost, I think we need to understand, to understand the phenomenon and its evolutions in order to design the appropriate answers. It is not an issue that can be approached through approximate and basic overview, otherwise the answer will be useless and the European community will waste its funding because when you are speaking right now, the phenomenon is evolving constantly. So we have to study it. Therefore, before we deal with new technology tools, we believe that this fight is an issue to be developed through the human and social sciences first, and that our first and best technology tool is the network of practitioners and experts, that is, all of you. But as a next step, and in accordance with these observations from the context, a new toolbox is an absolute requirement. The present forum will focus especially on these technical and practical issues. Cultural heritage protection is overdue for a re-equipment in new technologies and new tools. And these tools, most of them previously existing, are further developed within the Yankees project in order to match the specific needs of our communities. So you see, we're not going to create the one and magic tool. We're going to connect together initiatives to promote and develop solutions. The originality of the approach proposed by Yankees relies on this ambition to be recognized as the reference platform for its diversity of practitioners concerning the assessment of worldwide technologies and the early adoption of solutions that bring high value and positive cost benefit analysis, thanks to their integration into civil society for the service of heritage protection. To meet these challenges, the Yankees project is built around the fulfillment of several actions. The technology watch, evaluation and adoption, 
allows us to conduct a survey on users' needs and produce results that will enrich the tailoring of our solutions. The development of object recognition technologies through the six tools our members are working on will especially gain from it, and it will be uh, the entire topic of next uh, presentations. Based on the socioeconomic analysis of the context of traffics, we will experiment the tools in archaeological sites, museum, and borders in order to get the best adaptability to, need, to the needs of the users. This will allow Ankis to have a real impact and adapt tailored solutions, and especially replicable solutions, as this fight is not only a European one, but a global phenomenon. So we need to include our fellow colleagues affected by the looting and trafficking of their heritage all around the world. So a strong aspect of this common work consists in communication, dissemination and community engagement in order to meet the challenges of transferability, ensure long-term sustainability of the results and engage relevant communities. Training approach and guideline for curricula are complementary to these perspectives and are also included in our program of actions. So the Yankees platform will provide a strong basis for the communities that are joining us in this concern. The Yankees webinars intend also to, uh, to gather stakeholders, experts and users in order to discuss crucial and innovative challenges related to the protection of cultural heritage in a free access form and design for a large audi audience. So I hope that you will uh, join us in the next step for this. So I'm therefore very happy to see that we enjoy a growing community of followers concerned with the protection for cultural heritage and more than uh, 200 people today are registered registered for the forum. In this respect, and because of uh, every diverse moment, bad and glorious, of its long history, I think that Europe has a distinctive voice, a distinctive voice to promote. And therefore, let me finish with the wish that on the basis of this forum and on the basis of numerous other initiatives of many other colleagues who join us in the same urgent concern, we will be able all together to promote the idea of the creation of a European Centre of Competencies, an agile but sustainable and permanent structure for the protection of cultural heritage. I thank you for your attention and th thank you to all of you here and online for your commitment and for, for sharing ideas and future, future discussions and not adopt also uh, the contradictions because that's how we make progress and in any case for the debates that you are going to lead and enrich over the course of this afternoon. Thank you.